today I have been asked to do a wood tutorial, how to draw wood. So my brushes already have a whole bunch of presets on them. I was, I've been working on stuff all day, so we're going to start out with just the brush brush. It's a really, really easy one. Have that set density high, blending medium. Let's turn that dilution down to nothing. There we go. I have it on bristle too. That won't won't hurt. A bristle texture. Set it a hundred percent. So this is what I usually do for wood. Put streaks in there. Whoops. Like so. Do three or four different colors. Hopefully you guys aren't picking up a whole bunch of my movements. I just screwed around with my audio settings until I thought it sounded better than me talking into my tablet and moving stuff around a whole bunch. Okay, so as you can see, it's already looking an, an awful lot like wood, just like just like this. So that's blending set at 37, density 96, bristle, the bristle brush at 100. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to set the dilution up like that. I'm going to turn the blending all the way up. I'm going to make my brush a lot smaller. That was like 300, but this this uh this is a 300 pixel by square, in, or 300 DPI, 8.5 by 11 canvas. Yours might not be that big. I, I draw everything so that it can be printed. So that's, again, the dilution is set up uh, about 28. The blending is at 100, and the density is at 96. So we're blending a little bit more. And then you go through and put the texture in. And that's like the lines. The brush is really, the brush tool is really good for putting in lines like that and just moving around the color a little bit as it puts in the line texture. Um, it's been meant to emulate kind of a, a paintbrush of sorts. So that's what I usually do. Then you have a really good texture and, and you can put little swirls in it if you want to. Um, make it in a regular sort of texture. I like putting just long streaks in it. Pretend we have, you know, gorgeous wood from like the 1930s when trees were as big around as houses uh, before we fucked the earth up. <laughs> Anyways, so then um, what I like to do at the very end is put in um, some more texture. So I'll send the de density down to about 50 and the blending just barely, just up just a little, the dilution all the way down, and make sure that it's a dark color. And you want to start on one side with the dark color, so you just put a few streaks in. You can see the streaks going in just long, all the way across your texture like that. And see, this is kind of a little bit of a light source over here in the bottom. Um, like, there's a window over here maybe, let's say. So then on that side you can uh, wherever the light source is coming from you pick a, a lighter color and sort of start coming in with some texture like so and you can see that really is starting to look a lot like wood and then pick a medium uh, and you can color sample that right off of your page and put it through the middle and blend that stuff together. But I mean blending uh, not with the actual blend tools. <laughs> it's more of a putting texture in over the top of the dark spots and the light spots so that you don't have any of this um, strange little dark spots all over the place. Okay, 
that is my favorite way to do wood texture. This is a little harsh right here, so. And you can do it slower, like I said, put in knots and uh, different texture, like so. Depending on the angle of the wood. You just emulate the rings. Maybe that was a little too far out, but that's okay. We can bring it back down. Um, a good thing to do. I've, I grew up in a logging town, so I know what every type of different kind of wood looks like, so I don't really bother with reference pictures for this stuff. Um, I really, really know what it looks like. But it's really, it's, it's a good thing to get grab some reference pictures and uh, look at what the different types of wood looks like, depending on what you're drawing. Now I'm just getting away with myself. So then, you know, once you have something like this, um, you could come up here, do a luminosity layer and come up here to let's say the yellow or the red so the yellow or orange um let's say this is actually a hardwood floor or something like that right so it's the airbrush tool go up do a big brush uh, let's say like 250 And then I like to blur it all together, sort of just make it pretty smooth looking. I guess that's a pretty good way to lighten the wood too, if you wanted to merge those two layers together. It does makes it really look like a blonde sort of wood. Eraser. Whoops. Doing it too fast, too fast for my poor machine to keep up. So, this is eraser, it's all set totally all the way up. I'm going to turn the density down to like 18%. There you go, now you got the shadow from a window. Like magic. And you can go through and blur those edges a little so that it doesn't look so hard. No highlight like that's gonna be hard. It's gonna be very soft. That's it, that's what you got. Uh, and you can put a lot of other stuff in there, like say, turn down the minimum size to zero on your eraser. Keep the density really low. Um, scratch in a little tree. It's a little tree. It's a happy little tree. <laughs> And go back up to uh, your next layer to do a, n a new luminosity layer. You guys know what dust motes are, right? Whoops. more like streaks instead of motes. <laughs> we'll clean those up a little. Turn 
turn the density way down, really far, so to about 200. said before, blur the edges. Real good. Now there's enough dust in the air for you to see your light source. Anyways, wow, that turned into a completely different tutorial. Um, that's really the best way to do wood. I, for a more simple way to do it, I suppose, um, Like if you just want a single wood panel, let's turn all the way back up. So this is just the airbrush. I'm just putting down a little bit of color. It's not really like blonde wood. Now there's that. There we go. That's a good blonde wood color. So here we go. We've got a blonde wood color. So you go back to the brush. Density is set at 50. So it's still, still the same setting we had before. It's not quite big enough, so it's a 40, 40 brush. And just put a few streaks in it. This is like, um, like pine. And it's mostly the same rules as before. It's just three colors for most everything. Your base, your highlight shadow we're gonna get wild and crazy and we're gonna do four colors here cuz why the hell not cuz we can <laughs> that's why set the blending up a little bit more this is just to add your a little bit of light source to it, right there at the top. That's just real quick and dirty. Go back to that same color. And you can always come up here to the filter tool, go to brightness and contrast, turn the contrast up, turn it down, make it look like washed out, uh, like when your wood fence has been rained on, you know, for a couple of years. Brightness. Take some color out of it, same thing. That sort of thing. Well, that's it. That is your wood tutorial. Thanks, guys.